Okay, so in this section, I'm going to show you how we actually uh, start the Point HD Trainer application, which is just double click on the shortcut on your desktop. And uh, the first thing that you'll see is the main menu screen. And from here, we have uh, six options uh, load scene. Uh, this is basically the presentation mode where we can just load up one particular scene to use during a presentation. So again, this is a single scene that's been pre-made with a custom set of tools. So if you wanted to navigate to a different scene, you'd have to come out and go into another scene. Okay, so um, that's uh, what load scene is. So when we are in load scene mode, we can only use the tools that we have preset and uh, we can't adjust anything because this is uh, the presentation mode and uh, edit scene is well basically if you want to modify any particular um, template that you've pre-created then we do that with the edit scene mode and new scene is where we create a fresh template from blank now the load sequence um, basically is used to daisy chain a number of uh, scenes together so let's say during a presentation you want to have different setups of tools and uh, uh, use different uh, tools during different parts of your show um, so instead of uh, using load scene we can use load sequence and now by clicking on the navigational buttons I can quickly move through uh, different tool setups and different scene setups Okay, so if we um, close that, and uh, new sequence is where we uh, actually make up that particular sequence, and uh, exit is uh, to close the program and go back to the desktop. So now let's just have a look at uh, in the next section how we can make up a new scene altogether. Okay, so from the main menu screen, uh, click on new scene and uh, now what you'll see is, is that we have a totally blank area. Um, the blue area is where our background video or still images will appear and uh, the grey toolbar at the bottom which is uh, doesn't have any tools at the moment this is where our tools will be located so for the first thing that we need to do is, is to add in a background so in this case I'm going to use a still image so we have an option for either video or AVI or uh, we can also um, use still images so I'm going to click on still and uh, navigate in my folder to a particular still image and uh, let's go to that one okay and uh, the options that we have here is, is to either use the actual size of the image uh, we can either fit that image to this particular 16 by 9 aspect ratio or we can choose full which is uh, it will take the image and uh, fill it to the complete output screen in the uh, toolbar button at the top right, if we click on that, we can see our list of tools that are available within uh, Point HD Trainer. And uh, from here, you just basically select any of the tools that you want to use within this particular template that you're making up. Now, remember, you can switch templates live during a presentation, so you don't have to have an over complex uh, tool setup. So let's, for instance, add uh, a draw oh, and uh, we'll add a couple of arrows, a curved arrow tool, graphic, spotlight, and a circle and a rectangle tool. Okay, and um, if we now have a look at our toolbar, uh, we can see we've got a number of tools, but they have a default uh, look to them. So if we look at the two arrows, then both of the arrows are plain white arrows. So how do we customize any of the tools within Point HD Trainer? Well, that's quite simple. When you're in edit scene or new scene mode, you can click and hold on the toolbar button for two seconds or more, and the configuration will pop up. And within here, you can then change any aspect of the tool. So for instance, if I wanted to change the color, I can do so by either selecting a particular uh, shade by using an exact value of the red, green, and blue, or I can quickly navigate using the color swatch 
that's on there now one particular aspect here is is that we also have an alpha which it, uh, basically allows you to have a semi-transparent um, tool set up so that um, this is quite neat to use so that if you set it up so that you have a bit of transparency then you're not covering up the action um, and the viewer can still see something as to what's going on underneath the graphics that you're going to place so again with the, um, the tool setups if we click on to the uh, other arrow tool that we have up here so if you wanted to click and change sizes then you can do that in here as well so again you can have different varieties of setups uh, and each one is then saved within this particular template okay so now that we've um, added in our tools into the toolbar then uh, we can also move the locations of any of the buttons that we have in the interface um, and we can also uh, change the way that the toolbar is set up so if you prefer a horizontal or a vertical toolbar and you can also change how many tools are within the toolbar and the size of the toolbar itself so if we click on that then uh, if you prefer a large toolbar then you can have that um, now if we click on close um, what remains is to uh, name that particular setup so I'll call this setup one and save that okay so when we were um, going to go into a presentation mode we would uh, click on load scene and uh, we would uh, then navigate um, to that uh, particular uh, scene that we've created beforehand so in this case it's setup one and uh, away we go so now we can use the tools that we set up during the um, new scene mode or the edit mode um, if you wanted to make any changes so this is a quick overview of how you can uh, make your um, scene files you can make as many scene files as you want and save them and easily recall them during any presentation thank you okay so let's take a look at the edit scene mode um, so from the main menu if you want to um, change a particular pre-made scene or add some tools or change the look of the tools then you don't have to create it from scratch you can just simply click on edit scene and let's go to the scene that we made up previously which was uh, setup one and uh, click on open and now once that scene opens up you'll see that we have all of our uh, editing tools back here again so let's say we wanted to add in a, a couple of extra tools then uh, for instance if we want to add in a zoom tool then we can do that um, and now what you will see is because we've added one more tool into the toolbar uh, we now get this uh, navigational buttons at the bottom so uh, effectively if your uh, toolbar is set up to display a set number of tools and you add some more tools then it will automatically add these scroll buttons so you can scroll and navigate to the particular item that you want to use um, however if you also want to you can uh, quite easily just increase the number of tools to show within the toolbar so if we do that then again we're in here and um, we can now get rid of the navigational buttons and just show the uh, the complete set of tools so again if we wanted to edit anything in here we can do so let's just say we wanted to change the color or something then uh, we can set that up and uh, finally once we've completed doing our um, changes we can then just hit the close button and you can either overwrite the uh, setup um, the, the original scene file that you were editing or you can add it uh, give it a new name so I'm going to give it a new name I'm going to give it setup2 and uh, save that so now as you'll see when I go into load scene um, I have setup2 and if I open that up now I've got my extra tools that I added in here and also uh, the change of color on the arrow so this is how we can use edit scene to quickly change anything that we've pre-created and give it some slight tweaks thank you 
Okay, so let's have a look at our uh, sequence function. Um, the sequence uh, basically allows us to load up a number of pre-made templates or scene files for use during a presentation. So how do we create and choose which scenes we want to use? Okay, so if you've pre-created some scenes already using new scene or edit scene mode, then uh, simply you just click on new sequence that brings up um, a dialog box that shows you all of the scene files that are currently located within your folder so I have a, quite a few to choose from so in here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply select my scene 1, my scene 2 and I'm going to go to uh, my setup 1 and uh, we can go to setup 2 so let's say we wanted to use those um, four uh, scenes within um, uh, my um, presentation then uh, simply select them hit on cancel and uh, now we're just going to give this uh, sequence file a name so I'll just call it my demo sequence okay and save that okay so once we've done that um, and we're ready to use that uh, sequence in a presentation mode then we can go into load scene and choose my demo sequence click on open and uh, at first what you will see is, is that you've got this blue haze um, covering the presentation screen that's basically telling you that you need to move these navigational buttons which will allow you to toggle between one setup to another anywhere on the screen so if you were using a large plasma interactive screen or a whiteboard and you wanted to either stand to the right or the left then you can move these navigational buttons to wherever is most comfortable I'm going to leave them over here so once that's set you can click on OK and now you'll see that the scene is now ready to to use so then to toggle uh, between the scenes we can then simply just click on the uh, forward or backward arrows to move wherever we want okay so this shows you how you can uh, use the uh, sequence button to change uh, during a presentation to through to different templates thank you